Attorneys for freshman Congresswoman Katie Hill of California have sent a cease and desist letter to the Daily Mail, which posted nude photos purported to be of her. Now, the freshman Democrat has admitted to having a relationship with a campaign staffer and is facing health ethics investigation into separate allegations that she had an inappropriate relationship with a congressional staffer. Now, Kyung Law is out front in Los Angeles. And Kyung, look, obviously this whole thing is, is, is sort of sordid and salacious and there's all that aspect to it. But what it boils down to is uh, her district. Uh, she turned it, uh, you know, Democrat. It's a swing district. You went to talk to voters today. What did they tell you? Yeah, what we wanted to see is how is it actually playing out with the people who are going to go to the polls. So we spent the entire day in the 25th district talking to a variety of people across the district. And I want to start with what the Democrats thought. These are her supporters. We actually met people who volunteered for her campaign. Here's what they say. Disappointment. Big disappointment. I'm disappointed because it puts her seat at risk, I think, which is to me the most important thing. And um, and because we invested a lot in her, would we lose the, the seat to the Republicans again? I, I don't know. I, I'm not saying we would. Hopefully not. But it just doesn't help. Well, as long as she's doing what we put her in office to do, that's all I care about. I'd rather have someone <laughs> F something than rather F our country. You know, those Democrats were very happy that they were able to flip this seat because it's been Republican held since the early 90s. They say they will volunteer again should Hill seek re-election. And she has said that uh, certainly she's not derailing any of her plans in seeking re-election later uh, in uh, 2020. But listen to the, what the Republican said. She looks like this all-American girl. You know, and people don't like her. She has this appeal about her. Do you think this district flips back to the Republicans? I hope so. Yeah, I, I think so. So Republicans sensing an opportunity, but Aaron, we need to stress that this again will be a hard fought district in a purple district. And I should mention too, that I spoke to a lot of people who simply didn't know anything about it. Aaron. Oh. Well, I'm sure that, <laughs> that sparked some Google searches. <laughs> All right, Kyung Law, thank you very much. And next, the nation paying tribute.